It's Sarita from Sarita's f Up Stats, and we are covering week three, the Texans versus the Jags and the Falcons versus the Lions. Let's get into it. So Falcons versus Lions. Jeez Louise, what the hell was going on with y'all? You suck. Ritter shot a good rocket down the field, but then he got sacked twice in the first. Ouch. The offensive line just didn't have any protection whatsoever in the first and throughout the whole fucking game. They had some good passes and a few good rushes, but they ended up with a big old goose egg in the first. I think they got a field goal in the second, and who knows what else the fuck they got through the third and the fourth. Although Algiers and Bijan Dijon had a few good runs, it wasn't enough against the Detroit defense to get a score in. And of course, in the third, Ritter gets sacked again and he threw an interception. There were several incomplete passes, Ritter overthrew some shots, plus the defense was on the receivers like white on rice. Crossing routes worked for a little bit, although Ritter was sacked seven times in total for the fucking game. That was their downfall. Fucking tragic. And what had me crying was that Drake London said it felt like the team got punched in the face. I'm sorry I punched you, but... Well, damn, bro. At least you recognize that y'all all got your asses whipped, but it's okay. Nobody wins them all, honey. Taking that ass whipping like a champ, do that. Be ready for next week against the Jaguars because they're going to be on a vengeance, okay? So... Fucked up defense, kicking y'all ass the entire time. The Lions were like that damn movie with the dude. It, I can't even remember the fucking movie. <laughs> they ate y'all the fuck up. It's okay. Protect your fucking quarterback. Have you not learned anything from the Texans? Protect your quarterback. That was y'all downfall this week. But it's okay. Take it like a champ. Take the ass whipping like a champ and be ready for the fucking Jaguars. Texans versus the Jags. Oh my God, what a game. OMG. CJ Stroud was in the zone this game with a 66.7 complete percentage, two touchdowns, and 280 yards. And here is the most beautiful part about it, y'all, of this 37 to 17 win was that he was not sacked at all and no turnovers. I'm so proud. It's like a proud mama moment. Mama was so proud. Now, that is the swagger of a number two draft pick, my G. I would like to think that I had something to do with that. Anyway, CJ completed 20 out of 30 passes, which is fucking incredible. And the most significant was a 68 yarder to Tank Dell, who is also a rookie. Let's get that rookie chemistry popping on you hoes. But Dell also completed a 46 yard rocket from Stroud too, which led to a score by Damian Pierce at the one yard line. And it was all ball after that. Good shit. And let's not forget, mwah, the 85 yard touchdown from Andrew Beck returning the kickoff. CJ, I am so proud of you. Looks like you got your rhythm going and I hope you and the gang keep it up that momentum because you're gonna need it against that steel curtain, baby. Moving on, that is it for week three. Stay tuned for next week. We got Texans versus Steelers, Falcons versus Jaguars. I'm looking forward to these two battles. Let's get it, peace.